Hey YouTube, uh, welcome to the farm. Um, we're uh, we're doing a little uh, project on the man van today. Uh, I've been absent for a while working on this and that, and I thought that this would be helpful to uh, share this little fix it. Um, this is my caravan, and so this is a 2009 Dodge Caravan. Nothing special. This has become my man van. Um, as you can see, it's child seats and uh, and luggage in the back. So here's the here's the issue. Door handle broke off inside here. There is a cable. Inside here is a cable. Has a ball on the end of it and then a groove, and that will match up with this. You can see that I've got some rust here, a little more rust there, and this bracket right here that used to be part of that rusted. This thing's been broken loose from one end for quite a while. I think the top broke loose quite a while ago, and and so we got to fix this. So what I did was made a part. Sam, do you have that other? And so what I did was I had I had a few of these U-bolts with with a flat on it. Um, I'm sure Home Depot had narrower ones. So what I did was I matched up the holes, used a center punch. I actually drilled a little bit larger, and then I scratched along the side and did a little grinding. It's not perfectly symmetrical, but this will have to go. We'll have to shut the door and then pull the door handle out top please and then that will have to slip back behind this ear and this bottom ear back here will end up holding the door shut um, best solution um, I think that most everybody has a grinder and a, a drill or a dremel tool or I'm sure you could have done that if you went ham with a uh, hacksaw or something um, and so we're pushing 190,000 miles on this van um, I'm sure you go to body shop and get that welded, but then you got body issues, you got to paint it, you blah, blah, blah. So, show you what's happening on the inside of this project. Inside is... So on the inside, we pulled the door panel off. Uh, door panel's right back there. It's got, it's got these little pins down here. And I used just a regular old flat bar. Uh, you pry it apart, and it, it, you know, right about the time you think it's going to break, it pops loose and does exactly what you're hoping it would do. So right here is a little rubber flap that is an access um, to get inside here, and that door handle is up there with this camera. I don't think I could get you in there, but. Oh, you see a little bit of light of day there in the upper corner. And so that's our goal with uh, without that trim in there, I tried to reach my hand up there and I could barely touch something, but we can, uh, with the trim off, I'm pretty sure that we can reach our hand in there and maneuver the screws to tighten things up. And so um, we'll uh, let's see how this one goes. So hey, I just got done with my hand inside the uh, door frame, um, or door body. Um, my helper Sam took off. The biggest thing that I could tell you is it's an eight millimeter um, fastener, eight millimeter socket. I found it useful to use both a, a deeper well and a short one. Um, once you get it tightened down, the, the mechanism gets in your way. You need to use this to really snug it up. And so, and then putting the cables on, it, you know, probably if it was warm, it'd be, it'd be better. But eight millimeter, the big thing is if you drop anything down, it's gone. Um, I've got an extra piece of metal down here from me uh, just kind of toying around with the third day. I, I dropped it. It's down there. So, slide this. This is it. This is, this is, this is real. There we go. Okay. Uh, what do I have into this? You know, if I bought this at uh, the Home Depot, probably buck, buck and a half to get that piece of metal. I had a few of them. 
So I've got probably, uh, probably by the time I put the door skin back on, I got about an hour of my time into this. Um, how do you exactly take this off? You've got trim piece with some uh, Torx head screws and then there is another screw that goes right in here from your your door panel um, so I'm gonna slap this together and then we will we'll see if it if it looks correct or not okay so there you go that was uh, that was the big project um, I probably got an hour and a half into this job and uh, you know, I'm sure that a shop would do a very similar thing. Um, you know, hour and a half at whatever shop rate you have, plus materials, you know, that couple bucks for a piece of metal. Um, so yeah, that's, uh, that's it. And then you could see the trim, got the trim back together, not clean, but this is the man van. Like I said, you got a couple screws here. Underneath here was another screw going this way. And uh, tools that I used was just eight millimeter socket. Um, Torx head screwdriver. Flat bar to move the, remove the trim. Um, and then uh, a drill bit and a grinder and uh, uh, that's it. So um, I'm going to take care of these tools and I'm going to go warm up and get a cup of coffee. And uh, I hope this is helpful. Um, and so enjoy. Thanks for joining me. Bye now.